Last month I had the chance to photograph the London police on a night shift. The story story for this is um, that actually I did it uh, last year as well. Um, I went on on a proper like full on night shift like 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, and accompanied them, photographed them in the station and and whatnot, um, which was before I did these videos. And because I was there this this year already, I I reached out to them. Was like, you know what? Um, would you be up for for it to do it again? So they were like, yeah, sure, let's go. Um, and actually, there was potential to go more than one night, maybe like two or maybe three. Yeah, in the end, we only got clearance for one night, which was a bit of a shame. This time it was a little bit earlier. It was maybe maybe from the afternoon to to into the night. Getting to see the policeman at incident response is. Uh, quite the incredible experience i guess because you you literally you um there's the emergency call and then they just like head off as fast as they can and um try to be be the first first on site they they hear it on the radio and which they have on on their shoulder and um but if you're on, on the back seat you're just too far away to actually make out what the, what the actual call is so basically you arrive on the scene you don't know what's going on um and the most important moments happen all within like 60 to 180 seconds. The shift was was a bit of a slow one in the beginning, and then later, later, like when it got to the evening, it really picked up. I think it was in total like five, five incidents, which is like if you think about it, not a lot. Which is also why I would have loved to do to do this like a, a, a cup a couple of shifts, or even a, a week or like two weeks, because I think that that's when you really get the chance to document like the whole the whole thing. Because if it's like this, it's kind of really up to chance. Like what happens and um, what and yeah, what the nature of the incident is. By the end of the shift, there there was one last call. Basically, it's it, it said, well, here's here's a guy who overdosed on on heroin, and that's that was the point of time where I was told, hey, you're, you're probably going to see a dead guy now. Luckily, there were some other guys who were um and probably also addicts, but they had this counter drug which is um tolerated in the UK. Um, I forgot the name, uh, and I, I don't want to say anything wrong now. Basically, they injected him just before the medics came and, and the police. And they literally saved his life. So basically, he went from, from dying on the street to, to walking home within like 30 minutes. And that's kind of like how, how that shift ended. Yeah, but I thought, 
I would include the photographs from last time um, as well. I didn't take video then, but I think the photographs are interesting enough by themselves. Thanks again to the police department if they see this. And yeah, hope to hope to do that sometime again. That's all from, from my side today. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly did. This was a very special one for me. And yeah.